well, alrighty, um, this is the stuff movie watching vlogs, if you're a southern mind, you know what this is, but in case you just stumbled upon this video and you're looking at me and you're like, what the fuck, this is a segment where I read off a list of movies that I saw in the, the previous month. For this particular video, the month is July, July 2013. So, we're just going to jump right into it. And uh, the first movie I saw was on July 4th. I had some time before the fireworks started and before I got drunk. But you know what? I didn't actually get drunk that this year. That's not right. I, I'm supposed to get drunk every 4th of July. Eh, it didn't happen. I had a few beers and anyway, the movie I saw, finally, did I miss, did, I thought I misspelled something. I finally got to see Olympus Has Fallen. And you know what? I freaking loved it. I loved it for the wonderful cheesiness. I, I loved it for the violence and the action. And you know what? I know a lot of people bitch about the, uh, not even bitch, they're right. The CGI is pretty bad, but I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. Uh, but I, I gotta tell you, man, I, I just I had so much fun with that movie. Joel Butler just, this is what he's meant to do. He's meant to be a badass, and you know what? He is terrific. I love the cheesy dialogue he has and the one-liners. It's just, it's tough, you know? I got it. I got everything about this, this silly-ass movie. Um, he's got this one line where he tells the, the main bad guy, he's like, I have an idea. Let's play a game of fuck off. You go first. You just, you can't beat that. Um, okay. The next movie I saw, uh, on the 6th, um, I actually treated my sister and my nieces to a double feature. Uh, so, first, mo first movie we saw was Despicable Me 2. I thought it was great. Oh my god, I thought it was adorable. It was funny. Definitely on par with the first film. I really liked the first film. I, I, I don't... I don't know if I, li I like the sequel a little bit more, maybe, but... God, those, those minions, man, you just, you can't deny, those, those are some funny little bastards. Or as my sister likes to call them, the little mini Twinkies. Funny stuff, man, really adorable, great, great film. Ha had fun watching it in the theaters. I usually hate, I don't get to see a lot of kids movies in theaters because, uh, look, I shouldn't, family films. I don't get to see a lot of family films because, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't happen, so I'm glad I got to see that one. And the next movie we saw was The Heat. Dude, I loved it. I thought it was hysterical. I remember seeing the Red Band trailer and thinking, that's going to be funny. But you know what? I had no idea how awesome it was going to be. I thought it was just... <laughs> Bo Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy, man, they made a great team. I, th I think it's a great film for, like, it's, a, it's a, a shining example of how you put two females as the leads and you have yourself a good movie. You can make a great comedy with two female leads. It definitely shows that there needs to be more movies based around women. But it's a hysterical movie. Melissa McCarthy, man, she's kind of... She's got a way with curse words, I swear. And Sandra Bullock, oh my god, I mean... I usually don't like to laugh out loud. I usually hide it, but that movie had me going. So... Alright, so on the 7th, um... I, I know I don't usually mention the dates, but whatever. On the 7th, my sister... Okay. Expendables 2, yet again. I don't know how many times I've shown this and talked about this. I'm not going to go into it. I'm just saying, my sister had never <clears throat> never seen it. So she wanted to check it out, and uh, I watched it with her. I still love it. I still think it's much better than the first film. So we'll move on. Now, the, the next movie that we saw, uh, on the same day, we saw it as a family. 
you're not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this, but you're gonna talk shit, you're gonna bitch, you're gonna complain, you're gonna be like, how the fuck can you watch a good day to die hard? Yep. And yes, I have it. See? I own it. I don't pay thirteen dollars for it, so don't get too mad at me. Let me tell you something. Uh, you know, if you go back uh, when this came out, I did I did do a review. I know I don't do too many reviews lately, and I'm trying to change that. I enjoyed it, and I basically said fuck it, it fuck you if you have a problem. I didn't say fuck you, but if you have a, uh, I I basically said that I enjoyed it because you know what. It's just pure dumb escapism. I, I cannot thought, I cannot blame a person for hating this movie. It is a terrible sequel, especially to a franchise that I deeply love. But I really did enjoy this movie. Just because it's just big dumb fun. It's a dumb it's a terrible sequel. It's a dumb action movie. But you know what? I dug it. I dug it. And just so you know, um this has the extended cut, but I, we didn't watch the extended cut. Uh, I chose to show them the theatrical cut just to see if, because I don't know if the, I doubt it, but I don't know if the extended cut is any better. Uh, I wanted them to see the original film to see if they liked it. And, and you know, I guess, well, I guess this whole house is just filled with, with a bunch of dummies because we all liked it. Plus, the extended edition takes out Lucy McLean entirely. How the hell are you going to take out adorable Mary Elizabeth Winstead? That just sucks. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see... On the 8th... Oh, man. I have a thing for stupid action movies, man. I have a thing. Okay, so... I saw White House Down. And... <laughs> Uh, you know what? I, I saw Lucas is falling just like, what? Oh my god, two days be. Oh, four days before this. So, of course, I'm on a high from when Lucas is falling. And I knew White House Down was not going to be as good. And I heard all the terrible reviews and everything. But you know what? I watched it. I had time to see it. So, you know what? I saw it. And you know what? God. I'm so embarrassed because I. <laughs> I actually kind of liked it. It is bad. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. And, and it's funny because it, at times it tries to pass itself off as a serious movie, but then it it goes to to cheesy B level action style movie. You know, typical Roland Emmerich uh, territory. Which I, I like his films. I, I think his best movie, of course, is uh, The Patriot. Yeah, you thought I was going to say Independence Day. I love Independence Day, but I love The Patriot. You know something? This is something about that movie that it just it kept me going. I kept watching it. Like, I I didn't hate myself. Well, no, I do hate myself for watching it. <sighs> I know I shouldn't say this, but you know what? I watched it online. How about that? I watched it online. It leaked. It was like a cam quality, but the, the ratio, the aspect ratio was correct, and it had stereo sound. So, let's put it this way. I kept watching it. I didn't turn it off. I didn't want to turn it off. I, I wanted to keep watching it. So, that says something. It's a disaster of a movie. It, I don't buy Jamie Foxx as the president whatsoever, but I still like his performance. I, I, I like Channing Tatum. And, uh, did I say Channing? Channing, Tatum, whatever. And, uh, Jamie Foxx. I like the chemistry. Even though the characters are just, uh, Look, I don't like the movie very highly, okay? I'll give it a 3 out of 5. And even then, it's between a 2.5 and a 3, whatever. I just... I'm sorry, I liked it, okay? I liked it enough to write... I thought it was entertaining. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Moving on. Here's something that's a little better. Pacific Rim. Uh, on the 9th, I went to go see Pacific Rim. Uh, actually, uh, I went to the premiere. And you, I gotta say this, you know what? I actually enjoyed... I hate waiting in line. I hate waiting in line. But this particular uh, experience was awesome because... 
you know, I, I got to hang out with uh, Movie Man Chad, Romero Movie News, uh, Cog Story Reviews, Joe Caldwell, and Josh the Intern of Smoke Snow. And I, we just had a blast just cracking jokes and talking shit. Oh yeah, and then we went to go see the movie. Let me tell you something. Here's, here's the reason why I am really starting to hate screenings. You get a good position in line. You, 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 we're, we're like, maybe there's like, I don't know, 10 or 20 people ahead of us in line, which is not much. They sat us in the fucking front row. And we went to see it at the Dolby Theater. This is the, th the theater. I know people don't like it when I say theater or theater. This is where they hold the Oscars. We sat in the front fucking row where the orchestra sits. <sighs> they show us this movie on an IMAX screen. And I'm sitting there watching it like this. And it was in 3D. I get those 3D glasses, I sit down and I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna need these. Well, anyway, I'm ranting about that when you get to the movie. I like the movie. Uh, the people I went to go see it with, mine is Josh the Inter. Josh and I felt the same way. It was an okay movie, it was fun. I didn't really invest, I didn't get invested in the story. Um, and I know that's not supposed to be the main thing, but they do try to give you a good story, so you, you know, you have to acknowledge it. Everyone we saw it with loved it, and that's, that's cool. I'm not into, I'm not into kaiju, uh, what, what, what the fuck call it? kaiju movies. I'm not into those, but, you know, I did enjoy the movie, loved the special effects, holy shit, you're talking about some next level special effects shit. Uh, it's a fun movie. I probably wouldn't buy it, just because I know it would look gorgeous on Blu-ray. Um, it's a good movie. I just, I didn't think it was a fantastic movie. Um, definitely had a lot of problems, plot holes, all kinds of little stuff. But it's a cool movie. I did enjoy it. I know, I know I'm talking too much about other shit, but this is a vlog, so I have the right to do that. Uh, I went to go see, on the 10th, I went to go see The Lone Ranger, and I saw that for free, so, sorry, Jerry Bruckheimer, Johnny Depp, uh, Army Hammer, and everybody else bitching that, oh, the critics, you know, they, it, it, uh, it bombed because the critics. I know I didn't help the movie much by, you know, not paying for it, but, uh, that's just too bad, um, Look, let me tell you why the movie failed. Because it's based on a character that's 50 years old and nobody gives a shit about anymore. But you know what? I liked it. I liked the movie. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was a great movie. I didn't think it was something uh, on the caliber of, uh, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer's normal productions or, you know, Johnny Depp. Or Army Hammer, it, it, it definitely could have been a better movie, it was messy, but I still liked it. I, I really did like the movie. So, you know, it, it flopped. I'm sorry, but you know, it's not something that everybody can enjoy. I liked it because I love westerns. Alright, so on the, on the 13th, I saw a movie called Redemption which the UK title is uh, Hummingbird. This is a drama slash thriller with uh, Jason Statham. He plays a homeless guy. He uh, just got a text. Actually, I think it was a Facebook notification, whatever. Um, what, what is he? He's a, he's a homeless guy. What does he do? I don't know, he kicks ass. He gets a job working with gangsters and whatever. What's the redemption part? Oh, someone he knows gets killed and he tries to look for the killers and... I don't know, I, I thought it was a cool movie, good drama, definitely, uh... Not an action pack Jason Statham movie, but it's, uh... It's a good film, it's a good film with Jason Statham, he's good... He, it show, he shows that he can be a pretty good actor, and, uh... Yeah, well, let's, let's put it this way, it was better than Parker, shit. 
motherfucker sucks. Okay, on the 16th, I saw a comedy called Assassination of a High School President. This is a kind of a, a quirky indie comedy, dark comedy actually. Uh, God, who's the star of it? Bruce Willis is in it, plays the principal. Um, it has uh, Misha Burton from uh, the OC. I don't know who the main guy is, the main character. Anyway, it's, it's like a high school comedy. Uh, the guy, the main guy is like a writer, and he breaks a story that gets gets him a lot of acclaim and a lot of praises and pats on his back and all that shit. And it turns out that there's somebody that can discredit his... Uh, his story, so he has to find the facts so that he doesn't get in trouble and whatnot. Average movie. It was okay. It was funny. It was uh, clever. At times, it got very dull, boring. It tries to be kind of like a nourish uh, type of movie, m m mixed in with some comedy. Um, it was okay. There's not really much to say. It's, it's a Netflix movie, so it's, it's on Netflix. Ah, okay. This is gonna be fun. <clears throat> On the 16th, one of my favorite movies this year. Well, won't make my top 10, but I do love it. Evil Dead came out on Blu-ray, and I was fortunate enough to get the still book from Target. The exclusive still book, which I freaking love. Look, it's got Maya screaming. That's pretty scary. Seriously. Seriously. And, uh, I, I gotta open it. I gotta show this. I love this edition. I, I think it's so sweet. Definitely fun for the whole family. Look at, you got Rivers of Blood. Ooh, and then you got the discard. And it says, Blood Will Rain. Ooh, so sexy. Anyway, the movie. Okay, um, I, I have I, you know, I have not reviewed this movie on my channel. How dare I? I freaking love it. I, and I know people have a problem with it. I know that uh, people say, oh, it's not as good as the original. It's not. Of course not. But you know what? I still think it's a damn good horror movie. I love the gore. I love, I love the intensity of it. I love the uh, some of the acting of it. I just enjoy this shit. Sad thing is, you know, I get it on Blu-ray, and I have to watch it in my room. I have a standard definition TV. I have a Blu-ray, and that's only because my DVD died, my DVD player died, and I figured, well, why not just get a Blu-ray player? Save myself some time for when I do get an HD TV. So I had to watch it in my room, because this shit would freak out my family, so, you know. But, yeah, just, I saw that, and I love it, and yay, happy. Uh, on the 17th, I saw a movie called The Hunter. This is a movie with Willem Dafoe, who plays a mercenary who is hired to go to uh, Australia, I believe, to hunt down a rare species of animal. It's like the last of its kind. It's a Tasmanian tiger, I believe. And the movie is brilliant. It's such a good drama with some gorgeous cinematography, a great performance from uh, Willem Dafoe. He's got this uh, relationship that develops between him and a couple of kids. It's just really sweet and very, very well done, uh, along with their mother. Really, seriously, it's on Netflix, Instant Watch. Please check that movie out, The Hunter. Good, 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 good film. Uh, another movie that's on Netflix streaming, I watched it the next day, which was the 18th. Is called The Giant Mechanical Man. Very quirky, sweet little romantic comedy. Uh, it stars Jenna Fisher from The Office, who I just adore. That's actually why I saw the movie, because I just I wanted to see her uh, in that movie. <sighs> you know what? I, I forgot to look this up. The main guy. Look it up. Um, I, I know I've seen him before, but anyway, it's, it's just about. It's about two 30-something-year-olds who haven't quite figured out their lives yet. They, you know, the guy is a street performer. He dresses up and acts like a robot. And Jenna Fisher is just a woman who can't really get herself organized. 
And it's a really sweet comedy, sweet rom romance between uh, those two. Just an all-around great little movie. Not, well, not great. Just a good movie. Definitely check out The Giant Mechanical Man. Alright, on the 19th. Uh, when I thought you were dead, this was on sale, and I've been wanting it for so long. I finally got the Matrix on Blu-ray, and it's the Digibook. Yes! So I figured, okay, bought it, I want to watch it, so I watched it. You know something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go... I, I hate to make promises that I can't keep, but... I want to do a video discussing the Matrix Trilogy, not really in depth, just my feelings on it. Because you know what, I have some some changed feelings on it, uh, and I'm going to try to do that video. But i got to say, what more can you say with this one? This, it's a classic, it's a classic, and I, I adore it on Blu-ray. Even though I have the HD, HD DVD set, remember HD DVD? No, you don't. Uh, so I've seen it in high definition already, but you know what? This is something magical about it being on Blu-ray. And I actually saw all the features on this disc. Well, almost. Just a couple of them I didn't see. Uh, actually, the next day, the, uh, actually, not the next day, the same day, um, I did, I did watch Reloaded. And like I said, you know, I have, I have some changed feelings uh, about this series. I used to love all of them. When I make that video, I'll discuss, you know, what's different now. Um, Avatar. Uh, I watched Avatar with my dad. We hadn't seen it in a while. He hasn't seen it in a while. And we had the whole house to ourselves, and I said, hey, let's watch Avatar. Let's, you know, look at something pretty. So we watched it. Um, we watched the Ultimate Collector's Edition, Extended Edition, which is nearly three hours. In fact, it is three hours. And um, I still think this is a great movie. But I have to admit, the more I watch it, the slightly less I, I like it. I always, I always lose something when I watch this movie. Just I, the story and some of the acting. It just, I know, mm. but it's still a great movie. Of course, it's gorgeous eye candy. So I don't think I'll be watching it for a long time because I really, the next time I see it, I really want to appreciate it. Okay, so uh, on the twenty second, we got some sad news in the. Uh, the entertainment, uh, we got some sad news for the entertainment business or whatever. Dan Hadea passed away. I really liked Dan Hadea. I thought he was uh, a really good actor. I'm be really upset if I'm saying his name wrong. Uh, I gotta look this up real quick. Cause I'm pretty sure it's Dan Hadea. What the fuck is it? Get shorty, get shorty. Uh, what the? Why are you saying Dan Hadea? You know who Dan Hadea is? No, you don't. Fuck, man. Fuck. Dan Salina. Jesus Christ. I should edit this part out. God, what a fucking idiot. Dan Salina, who was a good actor. Dan, Dan Hadea is a fucking. I don't know, he did a movie with Brett Mittler. Actually, this movie has Brett Mittler too. Anyway, I watched Get Shorty. Get Shorty. I hope you guys are laughing at me and making fun of me. I deserve it. I watched Get Shorty in the memory of Dennis Farina, who I was very sad to, to hear died, because he's a good guy, man. Right? He was a good actor. He's, he always played a wise guy. He's fucking perfect in this movie. Um, God, the curse words in this movie are awesome. I love this movie. This is one of my all-time favorite comedies. Um, what's that one part? Uh, John Travolta is trying to correct him because he's saying, uh, I-E, what is it? I-G-E-G, -E fuck you, whatever. 
never mind. Um, yeah, it was great watching this movie again. It's sad though. It's sad because I'm watching this movie, and I know D Dennis Farina just passed away, and then recently James Gandolfini passed away, and now it's even more sadder because at the time of this recording, as I'm recording this, the um, the author of the book and. Who he? Well, no, he he wrote the book, not the. I don't think he wrote on the movie. Elmore Leonard just passed away. So what the fuck? So really sad. Anyway, yeah, I saw Get Shorty, and I I love that movie. Rest in peace, Dennis Farina and Gandolfini and Elmore Leonard. That's just sad. Holy shit! How long is this video gonna be? Only God forgives. I saw Only God forgives. Oh my God! I don't even know where to begin. I didn't hate the movie. I didn't hate it. I I thought it was uh. I give it credit. You know I think Nicholas Randy Ruffin is a complete douchebag and a madman. Seriously, watch his interviews. He makes no... When he talks, he makes no fucking sense. He's worse than I am. That's not true. Um, the movie looked good. It had some... I, I definitely commend it on some things. But the movie just tries to be so deep. And it's, it's not. It's really not. So anyway... I, I can't, I can't re review that movie. There's just so much to that movie. But, um... Fuck I'm just gonna move on. I saw a movie called Barney's Version. Barney's Version is a drama, a real heavy drama. And it's funny because I thought it was kind of a comedy. No, 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 no. It's a heavy ass drama. Came out in 2010. It's with Paul Giamatti, and he plays a Canadian film, uh, not film, but a TV producer who has a very fucked up life. I mean, he, he fucks it up himself. He's an alcoholic. He has three... He, he goes to three marriages. He, uh... There's a scene where he gets married and he starts hitting on a girl on the, at his wedding reception. What an asshole. Um... It was, a, it was a good movie. It, was, it had some great performances from Giamani, of course. Rosamund Pike, who was really nice and good. Uh, Mini Driver, Dustin Hoffman, who I didn't even know was in the movie. And uh, it's a really good drama. Definitely something that you have to be in the mood for. Because it's not exactly a cheery movie. But uh, yeah, Bonnie's version. It's a good movie. Oh, God. Oh, God. The next movie I saw is called Inappropriate Comedy. Inappropriate, but emphasis on app. Inappropriate Comedy. Oh, ow, ow, that hurt. Fuck that movie. Fuck it. It's not even a movie. It's a mess. It is one of the worst things put onto film. It is awful in every possible fucking way. If you've never heard of it, I envy you. If you have heard of it, I'm not the type of person to say, don't see it, don't see it. No, I dare you to see it. I dare you to see inappropriate comedy. It is so fucking stupid, it will, it will piss you off, and you'll probably turn it off. I saw the whole damn thing, and I really wish I had turned it off. It's, it's all about the Samwell guy who directed it, he's, 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 the, he's the guy, he has an iPod, and he keeps clicking on apps, each new app, even though there's like 20 of those apps, and he always, he always clicks on the same ones, they take you to some uh, comedy skit. Unfunny to the max. It is not funny, it's racist, and you know it's not even, I like racist humor. That doesn't sound right. Racist humor can be funny, like, uh, Borat. Thing is, with, with Borat, he's a fish out of water. He, he doesn't get that what he's saying is racist. So, this movie just deals with, it, it just has racist humor that just is, it goes too far. It's not funny. Adrian Brody is in the movie. He plays like a gay, uh, Dirty Harry. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in this movie. Lindsay Lohan's got this little dip part. 
at the time she just I I know the girl's trying to clean herself up, but this movie just yeah just, oh my god no 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 no. I almost want to do a rant video on it, but what's the point? I'm talking about it. I'm not going to make two videos talking about inappropriate comedy. Fucking horrible. Alright, we're almost done. On the 26th, um, my nieces, they were on Netflix and they clicked on 101 Dalmatians, the live action version with, uh, Glenn Close and Dr. House. I sat down and watched it with them. I hadn't seen it in a long time. It's a really cool, cute family movie. A lot of, uh, that's a fun movie. That's definitely one of those live action Disney films that was pretty good. Okay, on the 27th, this was a big, this was a big day for my movie watching. I just felt like watching some random 80s cheese. Uh, first movie I saw was Death Wish 3. I hadn't seen it in so long, I just, I wanted to see motherfuckers get shot. And, uh, Charles Bronson, man. I always say, if there's any way to bring back somebody from the dead, bring back Charles Bronson. Let him make some movies, let him be in Expendables 3. Anyway, such an awful bad movie, but it's so much fun. And the, the, the end finale is ridiculous, it's like just... People just lined up in a shooting gallery, just getting shot and shit getting blown up. It's <laughs> it's an 80s cheese fest, definitely, yeah. And uh, the, the, the movie I saw after that is a movie I own called Raw Deal with Arnold. Arnold was still pretty new to his acting thing, you know, this is after Terminator. And um, very, I don't want to say it's an underrated movie. But no one ever talks about this movie, and there's probably a reason for that. It's not that good. But I happen to like it. It's got a lot of action. Uh, it, it has... Uh, the end finale just has Arnold going through... I mean, he's been shot at left and right, but he's fine. He's gunning everybody down. Cool, very cool Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, if you have not seen it. It's from 1986, I believe. 86 or 85. I wrote it down. 86, um, it's fun, it's a fun action movie, I like it, uh, and you know what, uh, the night time came along, along, and I thought like watching some horror, and I hate to say that, I don't, I don't really have that many good horror movies from the 80s, and I came up upon Slither, which I hadn't seen in so long, so I decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch Slither. This is a great movie. It's so great. I mean, like, Nathan Fillion is awesome in this movie. Elizabeth Banks. It's got some good special effects. A lot of practical effects. It's pretty gross, but it's a it's a cool horror movie with some you know some comedy. Definitely a, a good uh, little little movie. I, I like this movie. James Gunn directed it, so. Yeah, Slither is awesome. And so I ruined my 80s vibe with that one, because it's from, what, 2006? The next movie I saw, I went back to the 80s. Oh, crap. I watched Maniac Cop. Anybody remember this? This movie is awesome. Um, this is a great horror movie, great B-horror movie. Uh, with Bruce Campbell, uh, just awesome in every way. Unfortunately, this isn't my movie, it belongs to my friend. I really don't want to give it back. <laughs> I like this movie so much. It, I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, mom and dad let me watch horror movies. No, they didn't. I just used to sneak off and watch horror movies. Many a cop is a horror classic. It's a, a B-horror classic. It's just about this... Mania cop going around killing people. Jesus, I know we gotta wrap this up. Come on. Alright, so I saw the Wolverine. I really should have done a Wolverine review, but you know, you know me. I I'm lazy. I like the Wolverine. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun, fun movie. Definitely had some great uh in depth um 
it, it, did, it did the character justice. You know, Hugh Jackman, I don't have to go into it much, too much, because Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman is awesome. He's great as that character, and this is one of his best performances as the character. It's great that this is a standalone movie. It doesn't really try. It does kind of tie into the other movies, but it's just you can watch this movie alone and be like, holy shit, this is an awesome movie. I like it. I cannot wait till it comes out on Blu-ray because it's supposed to have an extended bloodier cut. I can't wait. Uh, okay, so then I went. I, I don't really want to grab it. I watched The Matrix Revolutions. Um, I figured, you know what? I gotta finish this. I gotta watch this movie, finish the series. And like I said, my feelings on that movie has changed. I'm gonna do a video on it. I will. I don't know when, but. Whatever. I saw a movie called Wild Target. Um, wow, well, this is on the 30th. I saw Wild Target, which is a British comedy with Emily Blunt, uh, Bill Nye, and what the hell's his name? Got a place Vaughn in Harry Potter. God damn it, I, ha I know his name. I, I, everybody always calls him Vaughn. He has a name! God damn it! I have to. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. This is dragging out too long. I know, but I have to know. I wanna know. Can you show me? Rupert Grant. Rupert Grant. Look, you know, I actually like the movie. Uh, it's it's very messy and it's very flawed, but it's basically about a hitman who's supposed to kill Emily Blunt, who you know. Kind of cheated some some uh, art dealers, uh, so they have to they want to kill her. And Bill Nye is supposed to kill her, but he sees something special in her. I, I she, he just thinks she's hot, so he can't pull the trigger. And along the way, Rupert Grant joins the the little jo uh, journey. Funny little movie, messy and. It's, it's got some issues, but it's a cool movie. Um, it was on Netflix, but now they took it down, so sorry about that. Uh, three more. I saw a movie called The Inkwell, which most people are not going to remember. It's from 1994. It's with Lawrence Tate, the guy who played Old Dog from Ministry Society. It's a coming-of-age comedy drama. And the reason why I saw it is because I actually did a review for it on Read a Thumb. We're doing this coming of age thing. And, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a cool movie. If you want to check that review out, uh, just go to Read a Thumb and search the ink well. If I'm not too lazy, I might just uh, post the link in the des description box. Two more movies, double feature on uh, the 31st. Uh, I, I was bored, I wanted to go alone, I went to go see The Conjuring, which I was going to make a video on it, but I should. Let me just say this, I thought it was cool, okay? I thought it was alright. And I, I just don't think it's special. But uh, then I saw Fruit Veil Station, which is, you know, that true story based on uh, Oscar Grant, the man who was killed uh, by police, um, at a subway station while being detained. That is a great movie. I, I really, I, I'm gonna make some reviews for these movies. I have to, I just, I need some attention, I guess. I need some views, some new views. But, um, Fruit Hill Station, please see it. Please support that movie any way you can. And Conjuring, yeah, Conjuring was good. Anyway, gotta go. Jesus Christ, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm really sorry. I just, I love the Rambo. What can I do? So, uh, anyway, peace out. I'm not going to stretch this out anymore. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully, I made you laugh. You can make fun of me all you want. And, uh, yeah, peace out. Bye. Watch it. Ciao.